Hello loves, welcome back to Wander Tarot, and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I will be tapping into Sagittarius's energy for your uh, monthly love reading, you versus them, for May 2024. Keep in mind that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. Alright, to the ancestors, archetypes, and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of Sagittarius. Thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far. And I pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you. Please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time. Alright, spirit, guides, universe. The person that's on Sagittarius' mind at this time, how do they currently see Sagittarius? Two cards upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. Okay, and what are their intentions towards Sagittarius Spirit? The person that's on Sagittarius' mind. And what is their next likely action towards Sagittarius Spirit? Sagittarius see the person that's on their mind at this time? How does Sagittarius see the person on their mind? Spirit guides, universe. What are Sagittarius's intentions towards the person on their mind? And what advice do you have here for Sagittarius regarding the person that's on their mind, Spirit? So Sagittarius, the person that's on your mind at this time sees you as the lovers and the star. So they may see you, before I clarify, they, they may see you in a space where you're really hopeful for love, you're really hopeful in the choices that you're making, there's some healing that's uh, possibly going on here that's bringing in some hope here in a choice in love or just in your choices, how you're making choices in general. They may see you hopeful in this um, connection, hopeful in this dynamic. Spirit, what's the Two of Cups here for how the person says shares his mind sees them at this time? Got the Hermit in reverse. So... They may see you coming out of your shell right now, being open, maybe more open to love. What's the star here? 
for how they see Sagittarius. The Eight of Swords. So they may see you doing some healing here in regards to where you may feel, you may have felt like you didn't really have anywhere to go. Maybe you felt stuck and there's some release here that they see you, they see you in a space doing some healing and, and whatever that was, uh, whatever that is for you in your life where you felt stuck or really in your head. Again, they see you in a space of being open coming out of your shell, being more open to love, being more available. In regards to their intentions towards you, Sagittarius, we've got the Strength in Reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in Reverse. It's interesting. Uh, in regards to their intentions towards Sagittarius, why the Strength in Reverse? You got the five of wands in reverse. Their intentions are to This is a very interesting combination, Sagittarius, because the five of wands in reverse is kind of stepping out of conflict. Um, the strength in reverse is uh, allowing your first instinct to come through. Not really holding back what you might have to say or how you feel about something. It's kind of going off of a quick instinct. Um, one more for that, Spirit. Regarding their intentions. All right, the magician. Their intentions may be to make a very clear cut message here to manifest peace, but that takes possibly, or their intention is to take it upon themselves to make it clear that they plan on only manifesting peace. So I'm not sure how that's going to come through. With the Ten of Pentacles following up, let's see what that's about. Spirit, how is this an intention here for the person that's on Sagittarius' mind? The Emperor in reverse. Spirit, one more for that. How is this their intention? We've got the High Priestess. Their intention here is to somehow follow some sort of what they feel is their intuition or gut here with the High Priestess. With the Strength in Reverse, they're manifesting something here from a space of being untamed not necessarily like an actual like lion's roar right so maybe they're quietly non-verbally making some sort of point here their intentions are to possibly take take out someone, possibly someone that is um, controlling and, and, and involved with a, a home, the instability of a home, 
maybe so their intentions are to follow through with a gut instinct to throw out or manifest in a in a very in a there's some intensity here with the strength in reverse their their intention is to follow some sort of instinct that they have about what they need to do to possibly throw someone out who has been creating conflict, who has shooken up some sort of stable home. Whether that's their home or their environment, their intention is to manifest peace at all costs, to avoid conflict, to almost suck the poison out of some sort of environment. Their next likely action, Sagittarius, Ten of Swords and the Six of Wands. Off the bat, their next likely action is to not um, be very public about something here that is that has not come to an end yet. There's like a lack of completion. Their next likely action involves not admitting or Maybe they're let's clarify before I say too much. Spirit, what's the ten of swords in reverse here for their next likely action? The hair font in reverse. I don't see them breaking a law, but they are taking a more non-traditional route towards something that has not ended yet. It does seem like it's trying to end. This could also mean a lack of commitment, but I'm getting more of taking a more non-traditional approach, seeing as their intention is the strength in reverse here, and the magician, and the high priestess. What's the six of wands in reverse spirit? The star in reverse. There's some sort of disappointment here, not necessarily embarrassment, but not something they they necessarily want to acknowledge or have acknowledged or be noticed for regarding a lack of hope or a lack of healing, lack of balance, lack of a dream not meant, met. So their next likely action is to possibly continue to do something here in secret or behind the scenes or in a way that moves, takes the steps towards ending something that is bound to end anyways or complete or change phases. Spirit is uh is the emperor in reverse the person in Sagittarius's mind?
No. Okay. It's the Three of Cups in reverse. They're, they're definitely trying to take somebody else out of an environment here. All right, so moving over to you, Sagittarius, your, uh, you currently see the person on your mind as the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Three of Wands. You see them looking into their future. You see them not having yet completed something, again, that needs to end. So upright, they are moving towards, looking towards the horizon, about to move towards a different direction, but it's in reverse. So you see them currently being in a space of trying to complete something for their future. It's almost like they have to wait for some sort of event or something about timing here because in this description she's waiting for the perfect wave and she does have to go meet that wave so she has to have that movement meet halfway and that may be why she is still in this space so he or she that may be why they're in this space here where they can't really do too much there's some like line of events that have to occur or something that has to happen here, especially with their intentions. They plan on taking those steps. What, uh, in regards to how Sagittarius sees the person on their mind, why the Ten of Swords in reverse? Three of Cups. So, third party doesn't have to necessarily be a third person. For their intentions to push something out here that's creating an insta uh, unstable environment. I'm going to say it's a person, but this could also be having a completion of something that's taking up their time, taking up their energy that they could be investing. There's some sort of space that you see them in. They have not taken out a third energy. What is a three of wands here? For how Sagittarius sees a person on their mind. Three of Wands in reverse. You see them right now not being able to really enter that next space to complete again. You see them in a taking the steps to complete something. In regards to your intentions towards the person on your mind, Sagittarius, we've got the Emperor. And the Four of Swords of Pentacles, I'm sorry, <laughs> the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So your intentions, I think, are to kind of show up. Maybe become the Emperor for them, to step up as the Emperor in this dynamic. to show them what an emperor is supposed to look like, what they're supposed to feel like, because of this emperor in reverse that they're pushing out at this time. What is the emperor here in regards to Sagittarius' intentions? The Four of Wands. Your intentions are to commit yourself to really taking control on your part, how you can on your part in this dynamic with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Six of Pentacles and the Tower in reverse. Again, you want to show up during this time support in whichever way you can while something is not completely down yet. This, uh, this tower in reverse feels like whatever they're dealing with over here. That ten of swords in reverse. The emperor in reverse and the ten of pentacles. That five of wands whatever they're dealing with 
again you are trying to show up and in, and in, in how you can in whichever way you can you're committed to that's your intention that's what's coming through in regards to your advice from spirit regarding the person on your mind we've got the moon and the hair font before clarifying your advice maybe to kind of look within your own morals and values here regarding maybe things you haven't noticed um, what's the moon here for advice spirit for Sagittarius the knight of swords in reverse what is the hair font as advice What is the hair font and advice? The four of pentacles. So I think the advice here is to look back where, to look into what you might have been holding back uh, within your belief system. For some of you, spirit might be reminding you to hold tight, hold on tight to the stability within your belief system, right? Don't change, don't try to change who you are as a genuine individual. While you still try to look a little bit deeper into your psyche, right? In regards to maybe where you have not been able to communicate or deliver messages, deliver some sort of truth. Uh, one more with the Four of Pentacles spirit, with the hair font for advice. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, hold on to your belief system that you know works for you. The things that have created stability for you, the things that you know are part of, again, you as an individual. Um, Spirit, one more with the Knight of Swords in reverse for the moon as advice. For Sagittarius. Spirit guides universe. The Ten of Swords in reverse. So, something here in regards to What is hidden, what is beneath the surface of some sort of lack of sometimes, sorry, sometimes the Knight of Swords by itself can be kind of saying something before you think not thinking before you speak, it being in reverse, kind of, I think, takes away from delivering any sort of message. It can also be being too blunt, saying things you regret. For this to be advice, I think, in regards to whatever the person on your mind is going through, whatever has not completed, I think spirit's asking you to look at how it may be affecting you. Is there anything within this situation that you need to take note of? Because or in regards or it's regarding, it's it's relating to some sort of inner truth here in regards to what is aligned with you, what creates stability for you, what has created stability for you, your acknowledgement, your knowledge, your history here, knowing what creates stability for you. I think Spirit's just trying to remind you to keep in mind. Don't forget what you've learned. A 
And for some of you, it may be to, you know, sh show up and, and, and while you can, right? There is a commitment and almost stubbornness here with the Four of Wands and the Emperor and your intentions to show up for this person. Um, but if there's a lot going on here and there's something that's not complete yet, I think Spirit's kind of just reminding you to not be, maybe try not to be too involved in what's going on with them. And if it's something that continues, kind of draw that line, right? Remember your limits here in regards to how long you're willing to give to something that might continue to create a, a history or pattern, right? Like this tower may never fall. And I think Spirit's kind of reminding you that you need to keep in mind how long you're staying committed to something. Just make sure you don't forget who you are, right? Make sure you don't feel depleted, exhausted. And things may change, right? We got free will here, so based on what this person ends up doing, their next likely action is like, is kind of showing that it, that it may take longer. No matter what their intentions are, it may take longer. It might it might take a long time for them to complete this, whatever they're going through. And I think Spirit's just reminding you to keep that in mind, right? Make sure you're not exhausting yourself in, in this commitment. We can want things really bad and it just be something that like just never ends up coming to us. Just remember what keeps you stable, continue doing that, continue moving towards those things. You do see them in a space where they're not really moving forward or or backwards. They have the intentions to move forward, they have the intentions to make some sort of decision. They seem passionate about it, but there's like this resistance that's not really creating a it's not it's not happening fast let's just say that all right loves that's what i have for you for now if you have any questions please leave a comment i would love to hear if this resonates for you if it does and until next time and always sending you love and sagittarius you got this